Good morning, guys, and welcome to another real-time, funky, abstract, go-with-the-flow, let loose kind of journaling, the kind that I really love. So here I'm just starting with a pencil and making some scribbles um, on the Square Dilutions journal that I'm using today. I'm going in with my spirit animal, also known as masking tape just to create some textures and I'm just going to tear these into random bits now guys if you like the way that I journal if you'd like to support me I do have my very first class wow I'm so excited about it so my very first class is four and a half hours where we construct journals play with paper um, do all the things and have such an amazing time. I hope everybody leaves that class with something new um, that they can take and put into their work. So how do you get the class? Go down to the very bottom. You have until I believe it's May the 23rd or 24th to take advantage of the early bird special going on with that class. So please make sure that you go click the link below, go ahead and sign up for that so you can save a few dollars in taking advantage of the sale. So back to what I'm doing here. I am slapping down the masking tape just randomly and then I'm going to use a Bria Reese um, what would this be called? I guess it's just one of her ink pens that has like watercolor ink inside of it. You could also use like maybe put Dilutions or Lindy Scamp, Stamp Gang or maybe Heidi Swap into a watercolor uh, tube. Not watercolor tube, a water brush. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. Goodness gracious, don't you hate it when you can't think of the right word? Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this spray and it's uh, a very beautiful blue um, color here. And I'm just taking my wet paintbrush out of my dirty water, I'm sure, and I'm just getting that paint to move around. So the Bria Reese and this spray are both water reactive, meaning that if it quote unquote dries and then you spray water on it, you are going to get that color to lift. So I'm just taking advantage of that and kind of moving those colors around. And then I'm going to go in with this Sandy Beach chalk paints. And I believe this is just um, the Michaels brands. But any chalk paint, it doesn't even have to be chalk paint, to be honest with you. You could go in with something else. Um, the super matte um, chalk paint makes it a little fun to uh, play around with and get some different um, tones and stuff like that. So because I am taking that paintbrush and going over the water reactive um, inks, they will dry a little more permanent. Just like it would if you incorporated gesso. So I'm going in here again with my pencil, <clears throat> excuse me, goodness gracious, and making some uh, additional marks here. I'm taking the paintbrush. I never even cleaned it <clears throat> from the chalk paint. Goodness gracious, my allergies are cutting up today. And I'm going in here <clears throat> with the color shift paint. And I love the color shift paint. It gives all different colors as you move it around. It's kind of like Prismalite. And then I'm going in directly with my finger into some uh, gray, some gray tones. I thought that this would add a little dimension to the piece. And then I'm using my old nasty brayer that hasn't been uh, washed. I know it drives some of y'all crazy, but it's how I roll, people. It's just how I roll. And so, um, now what am I going to do? I think I'm going to break out the new pastel. And this new pastel is in a mustardy um, color, and it just brings an additional warm tone to the page. And I'm just going wild and listening to the gut here and just moving around the page.
And now I grab, this is, um, I, I don't know what kind of paint it is, but it was from Target. I remember that. And it has this beautiful metallic sheen to it. And I thought it would be nice to kind of um, go against the matte of the chalk paint and kind of just add a little touch of bling bling to it. I'm not sure why my camera's moving around like that, guys, but uh, it got a little loosey-goosey with me. And now I'm taking some Flats um, Lindy Stamp Gang Spray. Because I have so many sprays, I really need to use them more. So this was kind of like um, me experimenting with them again. It's one of those things like you put it to the side and then you kind of forget about it. Out of sight, out of mind for me. So I reached into the cabinet where I have it and I grabbed some of those and it added just a little pop of color here and there. And I'm really sticking to a um, natural, more neutral palette than I typically do. And I'm doing a little journaling here with my left and right hand um, and just kind of um, exaggerating the loops and making um, illegible handwriting, which I kind of love. I know what it says, but nobody else could tell it. And this color palette, I really believe, came from my snorkeling trip that I took in Honduras um, a few weeks ago. And there were so many beautiful shades and, um, you know, the blues. And then you would have the pop of yellow with a, um, a fish coming through. And then all the different textures of all the corals and it was it was absolutely amazing so I do believe that this is kind of where this palette um came from was that snorkeling trip because it was amazing I hope if anybody has the opportunity to go to Honduras you will take the time to go snorkeling because there was a beautiful beautiful reef out there that um we got to snorkel in so now I'm just tinkering around <clears throat> and it doesn't make the cut, but I feel like it needs a little stomp stomp. You know, when you look at something and you're like, it just needs, I'm not through with it yet. I feel like it needs a little stomp stomp. So a little stomp stomp happened to be this washi tape, which I also very seldom use washi tape. And I'm just adding, I thought that the um, numbers on this like ledger tape would just be awesome to add a little pop of something something and so that's all i'm doing is kind of tearing on um, the washi tape into random bits and then i'm like hiding it under the masking tape um so that it kind of looks like it might have been down before the masking tape although it wasn't but it's um, kind of a neat way to kind of hide it and bury it in the layer. So just a little pop peeps out to make you go like, huh, what, what is that? What's catching my eye there? And so that's kind of how that came about. Good night I can talk, y'all. <sighs> I'm glad y'all like me and you like my accent because, well, I'm a talker. I can't help it. And now I decided to um, just messy scribble here and say looking for and then I thought I was going to add looking for something like a word but then I said nope I think looking for is just enough because you can be looking for a lot of things and you sometimes will find it so um, I left that to be interpretive to whoever is looking at it. So I'm going in here with a white Neo um, <clears throat> crayon. I felt like it needed a little pop. And I'm going to work on getting this, um, the shaking fixed. I think I know what it is. It's a new light that I have up. And it is sitting right on my camera. And I think that that table moving is making it move. So I'm going to work on it, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed today's messy play. I hope that it encouraged you to go out there and try something new. Don't forget the link for my class is down in the description box below. I um, Stay tuned for the close-up 
And don't forget, click that subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up. Share my um, channel with your friends. And until next time, guys, toodaloo.